Day two on a family cross country trip. We are traveling during the pandemic. Dom, 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 dom. So this is the first time in what two months that we've eaten in a sit down restaurant. This is Kentucky now. Yeah, well, Kentucky is a democratic state though. Kentucky's so, state. so I was surprised. Yeah, yeah. So you see, there's not many people sitting here. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of masks. A lot of masks being worn by the staff, but the the people here are wearing masks. How are we gonna eat and wear masks at the same time? Oh, somebody showed me a lady where they had a mask where she slid it in the middle and she was eating a cheeseburger. <laughs> Which is weird, right? Yeah, yeah. So so we are um, on day two of our trip. To, uh, we're going down to Florida this week. We're just driving around and seeing the country. Uh, and um, it's been fun. But yeah, so we're about to sit down and eat. We're eating at Cracker Barrel. I know. Don't make fun of me. And uh, anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit later about Joe Biden and what a credible threat is. A credible threat means that if you complain about something, you have to have a threat to back it up. If you have no threat to back it up, then nobody's going to hear you. So the reason black people um, can't get a response out of the Democratic Party is because you've never had a credible threat. Um, then you can decide how you want that to look, but I believe that a good credible threat would be to say, if you don't give us what we want, we're going to sit out of the next election. Right, and, and, and if you do it, you know, sure, there's a price to pay short term, but the long term benefit is that people will eventually come correct. You know, it's, uh, I compare it to, um, you know, a woman who's complaining about her husband. Sometimes the husband ain't gonna listen until she packs her bags and moves into her mama's house and says, I'm not coming back until you straighten up your behavior. So sometimes you have to move out at least temporarily to get somebody to straighten up their behavior but you always have to have a credible threat and that and the reason black people don't get any um respect is because you've never had a credible threat you've always been too weak and too scared to execute you pull out the gun but you're always scared to use it and uh, i'm not scared to use it you know i'm not telling anybody else what to do but i'm saying i'm not scared to use it so anyway that's my thought for the morning and we're about to go eat this food so i'm really glad to be out and stop worrying stop getting all worried go live your life man I'll see you later. Bye.